again, everyone, and welcome to another edition of Woodpecker's Deep Dive. I'm Jeff Ferris, welcome to my shop. We're gonna take a closer look at a Woodpecker's tool today, and the tool for today is Woodpecker's 1281 Square, our most popular square ever. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. That way you'll know about every one of our videos right when we send them out. Okay, let's get started. So in our brand new catalog that just came out, if you look in just the first section, we have 31 squares. Why is this the one square that rules them all? Well, I'm not really sure, but I've got some ideas of why this is the most popular square in the Woodpecker lineup. So one reason that it is the most popular square is because it's also the first square. This is the first square that Rich designed many years ago when the company was getting started. Uh, and it has features that are universal through the whole line uh, that really make woodpecker squares what they are. The first one of those is the fact that this is a one piece central core. Okay, one piece of aluminum it's made out of cast and ground tool plate, the most stable aluminum on the market. And that central core is one solid piece. Then the beam of the square is formed by putting on two additional pieces over that central core. Then the cheeks are held in place by two very high tolerance pins that are pressed in place in the final assembly process. The result is a square that is square and stays square. The cheeks are just a little bit narrower than the core, which creates that shoulder. And that is one of our most famous features, is we produce a square that will work by itself. It doesn't need you to hold on to it the way a traditional tri-square does. It will actually set on the wood in position by itself. Now the shoulder that supports the square is a great feature, but if that continued all the way to the blade, it'd be in the way. Uh, so we have a notch in there that allows you to get your pencil right up to the corner of your stock when you're doing your layout lines. So the 1281 is an aluminum square uh, and the pins are stainless steel. So what we have here is a tool that is 100% completely corrosion free. Uh, if you've got a basement shop like mine, or if you're in a garage, you never have to worry about rusting in your shop. So now let's talk about manufacturing tolerance. Woodpecker squares are made to a tolerance of 0 0.0085 degrees. Uh, what is that in the real world? Well, uh, the easiest way to measure that is in deviation over the length of the blade. Uh, and 0 0.0085 degrees on a 12 inch square is a little less than two thousandths of an inch between here and here. Now this is a one and a half thou feeler gauge. Uh, and you can see I can't fit this between the two squares anywhere along the edge. So this is well within that tolerance of 0 0.0085 degrees. So those are all great reasons why all woodpecker squares are popular. What about this one? Why is this the one? Well, um, like I said, I'm not sure, but I've got some ideas. And the first one to me is it's just the right size. Not too big, not too little. So if I'm checking a uh, one by four, four square, this isn't too big. To handle. It's just about perfect. If I was using a smaller square and I started doing a piece of plywood, I wouldn't have enough square. This one's just perfect. Checking the inside of a drawer. You've got just the right amount of reach. And while we're working on cabinets. It's just the right size to check a face frame. 
Now the blade on the 1281 is a little thicker than you would expect to see on most other tri-squares. Uh, and for me, I love that when I'm checking the assembly of a piece of, of uh, furniture because you get very, very positive feedback with the fit of that. And when I bring that in, a lot of times I'm listening as much as I'm looking. And that little scritch that you hear right there, that tells me that I've got just exactly the same amount of fit all along that blade. So to me, the 1281 is the mama bear. Not too big, not too little, just the right size. Hey, I hope you enjoyed this look at the 1281 Woodpecker's Most Popular Square. If you did enjoy the video, one thing I'd like you to do is hit that like button down below. That's the thumbs up. That'll let us know that you appreciate what we're doing and we'll keep doing it. If you haven't, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. That way you'll know about every one of our new videos. Hey, one more thing before we go. Hot off the press, the newest edition of Woodpeckers Woodworking, our catalog that has all of our products, plus articles about how to use them and how to set them up. You get your copy just by hitting the link down below that'll take you to our website where you can request a copy to be mailed to you. Also, there's a link down there to get straight to the 1281 page on our website. Hey folks, thanks for watching this edition of Deep Dive. We'll see you next time.